everything you need to know about Wolverine's unique anatomy. As explained in X-Men, mutation is an error or a different arrangement of DNA or RNA sequences in the human body that had given rise to an X-gene which gave humans special abilities, enhanced senses, or even changed their physical appearances. The world is aware of the mutants and overwhelmed by their unique abilities and is managing to cope with them. Wolverine is one of them and undoubtedly one of the strongest mutants. Wolverine, aka Logan, is a lot more than an average Canadian man. His physiology is astounding, and his abilities make him one of the strongest mutants. Superheroes are best admired when their abilities or origins are backed perfectly. In today's video, we will be discussing Wolverine's unique abilities and powers, explaining how versatile and powerful he can be. His mutations, followed by the adamantium infusion, gave rise to his ultra-powerful physiology. So, without delay, let us explore everything you need to know about Wolverine's unique anatomy. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. The Long Life and Super Strength Saga Wolverine's most powerful ability is to heal rapidly. His cells have the ability to regenerate at a very fast rate. This saves him from any fatal injury or mental trauma and makes him age a lot slower than humans or fellow mutants. He is immune to all earthly diseases and the woes of aging. Going along the storyline, he has lived for more than 100 years. As shown in the X-Men movies, he met Charles Xavier and Magneto both during their youth and old age. He died in the movie Logan, but that was mostly because of adamantium poisoning and his reluctance to live further. The long life did come at a cost, as he had lost his dear ones more than many times. Charles was then his only friend, and with his death, he seemed to have worn out his urge to live. Remember his healing abilities helped him overcome mental trauma and depression as well? And when that didn't work, he succumbed to feeling his losses. Without the adamantium poisoning, he would also have been nearly immortal in the storyline. Moving on to his strength, Wolverine is a decent hand-to-hand -hand combatant with a combination of brute strength. Born as James Howlett, Wolverine was a sickly child needing attention and care, but ever since his mutations manifested, his physique and strength started growing exponentially. He had worked in a mine where the natives gave him the name Wolverine for his fast and furious digging abilities like that of a Wolverine. During the Weapon X program, his skeleton was fused with adamantium, further strengthening him. Adamantium in the Marvel Universe is one of the strongest metals on Earth along with vibranium. With that being a part of his endoskeleton, he was invulnerable to most attacks while his punches became lethal. The extent of his strength is portrayed in different forms of media in the Marvel franchise. Making his first appearance in The Incredible Hulk issue 180 in October 1974, Wolverine's first opponent was Hulk, the strongest Avenger and one of the strongest characters of Marvel. In the Old Man Logan comic storyline, he even killed an evil version of Hulk. In 2009's Wolverine Origins, Logan faced Fred Dukes in a friendly ring fight. When Dukes slammed his head on Logan's, he hurt himself so bad that he went dizzy for a few seconds. This shows how strong and durable his adamantium skeleton is. All about his signature weapon, the Deadly Claws. The dominant aspect of Wolverine's mutation is his animal physiology, which gives him his Deadly Claws. Wolverine's claws first appeared at a very young age when his father's death triggered his mutation, and ever since then, it has been his primary weapon. The claws were strong and could even block gunshots. Throughout his storyline, he has killed numerous opponents with his claws, either impaling them or decapitating them. However, in the 2009 movie Wolverine Origins, Sabretooth managed to break Wolverine's claws during their fight outside the bar. Later, he is shown to have grown back his claws. When these claws were fused with adamantium, it became one of Marvel's most powerful and durable weapons. Wolverine even had a mini comic series titled Claws, which also featured Black Cat. Earlier, comics showed these claws as a part of a weaponizing program, Weapon X. But later, his origins revealed that his retractable claws are part of his mutations. The bone claws of Wolverine were shown in several X-Men movies, highlighting the point that before the Weapon X program, he had bone claws. Ripping apart metal doors or even heavy vehicles, Wolverine's claws can do all. However, Wolverine's claws were slightly modified in appearance for the movies, and they came out from between his knuckles. His claws came out slightly lower and closer to his palm in the comics and animated series. The spread of three blades were narrowed to give it a slight bend towards the tip. 
This appeared way cooler and more lethal. He could regrow the adamantium claws as well, as shown during his fight with the Silver Samurai. Captain America's shield once managed to resist his claws. When his claws popped out, they tear out of the skin, which later gets healed. Wolverine's Magical Healing Qualities Wolverine's healing abilities are indeed magical. He could regenerate his cells at a genetic level, inferring how he could regenerate without any organs. But covering from bullet wounds and deep cuts take a few seconds for him. In the 2013 Wolverine Origins, he was shown to recover from literally being sliced in half. Although he can heal at a very fast rate, it is still not the best healing factor in the Marvel Universe. When introduced as an X-Man in 1975's Giant Size X-Men Issue 1, Wolverine's healing powers were not so quick. It took hours or even days to recuperate from his injuries. However, his healing abilities have been made extraordinary with the passing years and growing popularity. His nature of pushing his limits had also made him set a benchmark on his true extent of healing. In X-Men Last Stand, when Jean Grey, possessed by the Phoenix Force, transformed every opponent into molecules, Wolverine managed to hold himself from being disintegrated by constantly repairing his body at such a high rate that it balanced out the constant loss of mass from his body. Wolverine's healing abilities not only shield him from external wounds, but also from mental trauma and all earthly diseases. He could never be controlled or possessed by any other being or force. In Uncanny X-Men, issue 155, published in 1982, a parasitic alien race known as the Brood tried infecting Wolverine but failed. And similarly, in 2011's X-Men issue 5, where vampires had invaded San Francisco, Wolverine's anatomy rejected being infected. Although the Wolverine Origins gave a bizarre origin story to Wade Wilson, aka Deadpool, it can be concluded that Deadpool's healing abilities are derived from Wolverine's cell as William Stryker crafted several mutant abilities into him. Further, with the adamantium endoskeleton, his healing abilities have enhanced as his internal organs are shielded with the strongest metal. Even when shot in the head, all he has to repair is his outer skin, a fractured skull, and tissues. In the cinematic universe, he was once infected with a parasite that hindered his healing abilities. Without instant healing, he performed his own surgery and took out the parasite. He literally died at the end of the operation, but with his healing abilities back online, he was back in shape within a minute. Feral Wolverine Infusing liquid adamantium into someone's endoskeleton is a very painful process, and it can only be possible for Wolverine to undergo the experiment. In the cinematic universe, Sabretooth also wanted to undergo the process, but according to William Stryker, he would not have survived the brutal procedure. It was all because of Wolverine's unique healing factor, which could instantly revive all damages and injuries obtained from the experiment. With all that said, we can only imagine how difficult and painful it would be if this adamantium was ever tried to be taken out. In X-Men issue 25, Wolverine was stripped of his adamantium endoskeleton. Created by Fabian Nicieza, Andy Kubert, and Matt Ryan, the story revolved around the urgent need for the X-Men to eliminate the threat of Magneto. When they confronted Magneto, a brutal fight erupted between them. Wolverine delivered a few brutal blows, but Magneto finally ripped out all of the adamantium from Wolverine's body, leaving him completely immobilized. He did return to his previous form, that is, with bone claws, but it was later revealed that the adamantium was actually hindering some of his mutations. Without his adamantium, his mutations accelerated tremendously, and he slowly started transforming into a vicious animal without any sense of judgment. His look scared the readers as it resembled an overgrown mutated lion without a nose. Throughout the story, this animalistic form threatened all friends and foes alike. However, fans did not like this version as Wolverine's human nature adds all the charisma to the character. This version was later removed and Wolverine appeared in his human form without any further explanation. But... His moral boundaries can disappear during his moments of berserker rage. Powerful individuals are often defined by the set of moral boundaries they put around themselves. Like for Batman, he chooses not to kill, and despite being smart enough to take down his villains once and for all, he chooses his faith over the judicial system. Similarly, Spider-Man believed his powers needed to be used responsibly. In fact, the moral compass is what gives character to these individuals. It is the same with Wolverine unless he gives in to his feral nature. Wolverine at times of crisis went crazy and killed his opponents ruthlessly. On a normal day, he's just a guy with a rash attitude and even tries using minimal effort to handle situations. But once felt threatened, he is an unstoppable killing machine. 
This has been a major drawback for the character, as once he loses his mind, both friends and foes are at equal risk. At a very young age, when he was known as James Howlett, he stabbed his true father out of rage and escaped with the orphan Rose, who he also stabbed to death in an accident after losing his mind. This trait of his was wished to capitalize on in the Weapon X program, making him an unstoppable weapon. At times, he chose to cross his conduct at his own will. For example, in X-Men The Last Stand, he had no choice but to kill Jean Grey, which was against his moral code. This also happened in the comics Uncanny X-Men issue 207. In the issue, Rachel Summers was living under the threat of Selina, an ancient mutant vampire who had also killed someone close to her. The fear and rage piled up in her mind and she decided to kill Selina, only to be stopped by Wolverine, who insisted on her in not taking any life. When Rachel did not reciprocate to his advice, Wolverine stops her by stabbing her nearly to death. The extent of his wrath is best depicted in X-Men Apocalypse in a short cameo. After the abduction of Charles Xavier by Apocalypse and his four knights, many students were stunned and taken hostage by William Stryker and his team. Jean, Kurt, Scott, Mystique, and Moira Magdegart were also there, and they managed to unleash Wolverine from his cell. Upon release, Wolverine killed, stabbed, and paled, and took down Stryker's entire team ruthlessly in a few minutes. He was also about to attack the X-Men, but Jean managed to calm his mind before letting him escape. In the Old Man Logan comic series, when an evil Hulk killed Logan's family, he lost his mind out of rage and killed the Hulk. His unique sense of smell and judgment. Wolverine is also gifted with enhanced senses of smell and judgment, for which ambushing him is nearly impossible. He could spot his targets from a very far distance and plan his steps accordingly. He can hear the faintest of sounds and predict his prey's and opponent's movements. His hearing is almost as good as Daredevil. Not just his smell and hearing, he can also study a person and judge if they are lying by observing their heartbeat pattern or other factors like perspiration. These abilities add up to Wolverine's hunting nature and it's nearly impossible to trick him or even deceive him by shifting shape. Even in the movies there were several instances where Logan had traced or sensed his enemies via smell or sound. Cuckoo Kachu got screwed. Kue Kuatsu. <laughs> All about his superhuman fertility. Wolverine, aka Logan, has always been good with women, for which he had many flings and relationships throughout his life. With more than a hundred years to live, he had a long list of beautiful women associated with him. Dating for over a century has also led him to be the biological father of many offspring. In the 40s, he married a Japanese girl named Itsu and had a son named Daken. Daken would later serve as an antagonist seeking revenge on his father Wolverine. Once an organization was formed by the people who were wronged or hurt by Wolverine. This evil organization was later called the Reg Right Hand and they managed to send Logan to hell for his deeds. Later, Logan managed to escape hell and began seeking revenge against the group. When he finally tracked them down, he killed their mutant bodyguards, but found that all the members had killed themselves. Later, in a video message, it was revealed that their mutant bodyguards were offspring of Wolverine. The movie Logan did manage to showcase one of his offspring, Laura, also known as X-23. Although she is a clone of him, he treated her like his child. Wolverine can see in the dark. With a heightened sense of hearing and smell, he can anticipate his opponent's movements even after seeing them. Resembling his animal-like instincts, he might as well have night vision like wolves. This gives him an advantage during hand-to-hand -hand combat as he can manage fighting even in the dark. He will be fine in a nuclear blast, but drowning will trouble him. Wolverine has survived a nuclear blast. As shown in the 2013 film Wolverine Origins, he has been shown recovering from a nuclear blast, growing back his skin and bones. During his encounter with the supervillain Nitro, who can create large explosions, in Wolverine issue 43, he was reduced to his skeleton with his insides vaporized, but thanks to his healing ability, he grew back his organs, muscles, and his skin. Being able to recover from any attack or explosion, he is almost invincible. However, he has this one weakness and that is getting drowned. Firstly, being infused with metal, his body density is way higher than any normal human being and less buoyant, for which floating on water is something that Wolverine would find difficult. 
Even if his healing factor helped him survive, he would drown constantly. Secondly, his healing abilities are hindered underwater. In the story arc Drowning Wolverine, a trap Wolverine is shown to lose his healing abilities. His fear of drowning is also explained in Wolverine, Black and Blood, Issue 3, where he struggles fighting sharks in the ocean. After being thrown into shark-infested waters, he is shown to be extremely fearful of drowning. Psychic attacks can affect him. Having discussed Wolverine's unique powers, his unmatched durability is firm against psychic attacks too. Charles Xavier at some point gave him psionic shields to resist psychic attacks as well. In X-Men Days of Future Past, released in 2014, the mutants and the mutant sympathizers were hunted and prosecuted, mostly killed. Kitty Pride, Colossus, Blink, Warpath, Bishop, Iceman, and Sunspot survived by taking a short time leap to the past and informing themselves about the forthcoming danger. Kitty had this ability to send anyone's consciousness to his or her past self, and she had just sent Bishop's consciousness to the past, informing him about the arrival of the Sentinels. Charles, Eric, Storm, and Wolverine join them and plan on using Kitty's ability to send someone back in the past to stop the event which initiated the Sentinel programs. As stated by Kitty and also validated by a silent professor, sending someone's consciousness decades back in time would snap the mind and rip it apart. Wolverine then steps in as he mentions that his mind can snap back and also heal itself while getting ripped. This is probably the best instance where we see how Wolverine is immune to psychic attacks. Can he actually die? To sum it up, Wolverine can regenerate himself at a cellular level. He can, from any form of injury, overcome traumas, has an excellent sense of judgment with an enhanced sense of smell and hearing, super strength and durability. So, is he immortal? He died on several occasions and most of it happened when he lost his healing abilities. In Chris Soule and McNiven's miniseries Death of Wolverine, Logan lost his healing abilities and started wearing armor. Meanwhile, Dr. Cornelius from the Weapon X program planned to attack Logan and extract his healing abilities. On finding that he had already lost it, a furious Dr. Cornelius drops molten adamantium over him. Wolverine managed to kill Dr. Cornelius but died out of suffocation under the hardened adamantium. In the cinematic universe, Wolverine died as well. As showcased in the 2017 movie Logan, he is suffering from adamantium poisoning which inhibited his healing powers to repair his injuries. He has become old and cannot heal like he used to. He eventually got killed by his own clone. Apart from these, some weapons can be lethal even for him. One of them is the highly radioactive metal carbonadium, which can slow down healing abilities. Deadpool's katanas are made of carbonadium. In Age of Ultron issue 9, Wolverine and the Invisible Woman travel back in time to kill Hank Pym as he was the one who made the artificial intelligence Ultron. However, doing this, things become worse, and later, he traveled back further in time to stop his younger version from killing Hank Pym. This encounter, as we could imagine, did go well, and Wolverine finally killed his younger self before he could kill Hank Pym. Apart from these, Wolverine could also die if drowned for a prolonged period of time. He had once used this technique to kill his son Dagen, and stated that this method would also be effective against him. In an alternate storyline, he was killed by the Sentinels. Hence, Wolverine can die, but essentially not easily. Conclusion Over the years, Wolverine has become one of the most popular characters in the Marvel Universe. The character is one of the strongest in the universe and is gifted with the best of all abilities. Casting Hugh Jackman changed the game for the franchise as he seemed to be the perfect Wolverine. Since then, the character grew into something which we all loved. He is strong, vicious, and has his amazing fighting abilities. His feral nature and berserker rage often give us a glimpse of his true aggression. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!